Oh, Richard. I had to submit my CV for something recently, and the woman said, this looks like the work of a fantasy. <laughs> I've done something which I haven't really done before. And that's nothing. Mm. It's coming out to my, to my parents and my friends and family. Uh, kind of released a whole load of stuff that kind of jumped on me unexpectedly. Uh, kind of always experienced life as a drama for good and for ill. And sometimes it was comedy and sometimes it was tragedy, I guess. Yeah. But I couldn't put one foot in front of the other. I just couldn't get it. And poor old Di, she had to revise down with every go her expectations. <laughs> and in the end, I mean, just if I could walk on stage, that was great. <laughs> I wasn't frightened at all, but as my mother said to me, maybe you should have been. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I found managing my relationship with Jimmy very difficult. The fact that he was rightly a hugely gifted performer who everybody wanted to see. And being the rather sort of frumpy, mediocre pianist next to him was Welcome quite... Welcome to my world. With <laughs> <laughs> my tendency left to my own devices would be just to gorge on a divan like a Roman emperor. Uh, David, my part, my late partner, he always, oh, he never used to let me dress myself because he said, he said I could go to, I don't know, Armani and come out looking like a geography teacher who'd just been made redundant. I just, everything I touch turns to frame. <laughs> I once got the elastic on my manacle caught on a chalice and sent it flying across the altar of sacrifice.